I no longer take cold showers. However, it's not what you think. And I actually, in this video, will reveal to you a secret that will help you and your future. So stick to the end. Don't get me wrong, okay? So cold showers, you know, the cold plunge into ice, cold baths, and hyping yourself up to get into a freezing cold shower. They are great. They are amazing. There is no way that I'm saying that cold showers and the cold plunge is bad. Because the benefits that you get from it is just amazing. Literally, scientists have researched and said that the benefits can literally be better than a high from cocaine. That is how amazing it feels. The amount of dopamine that you get and testosterone. How energized you mentally and your body feels from coming out of an ice bath or a freezing cold shower. Anyone who has been doing it for a long period of time kind of knows how beneficial it is. And I think everyone kind of knows. It's like meditating or going to the gym. We all kind of know it's good. It's just a lot of us don't actually do it. However, maybe you're in the top 10%. Maybe you have tried. You decided that I'm going to try and do a cold shower, freezing cold shower. I'm going to try and get into it. And you're, you know, you're hyping yourself up. You're, the shower's running. It's freezing cold. You can literally see and feel the coldness from it. And you're hyping yourself up. You're super, super, like, sort of, like, energized for it. You do this for a week, and then you start stopping. You don't. The problem is that you can't stay consistent. And to be honest, there is one tiny downside to freezing cold showers and ice baths, and it's kind of one really annoying thing, and that is freezing cold water doesn't actually clean very well. It cleans, but you know, if you're trying to like wash your hair and you've got a lot of hair, you know, and all your other bits, <clears throat> In reality, freezing cold water does not really clean that well. Slightly warmer water, not boiling hot, but you know, like lukewarm water actually helps clean and get rid of all the bacteria. So then you've got to think, ah, oh, okay, right. I would have actually clean myself with a, like a warm shower, but then I also want to find time for a cold shower. And you know, you're hyping yourself, your, yourself up for it, but then it just simply comes down to the fact that you do not have time. A lot of people do not have time. They have work, they have school. You've overslept, so you need to start rushing and then you wanna have a cold shower in the morning, but you know, you gotta hype yourself up and get ready for it. And you've got literally five minutes to get out of the door. I'm just gonna have a quick two minute hot shower. A lot of people don't have time to actually indulge and do a cold shower. Standing outside the shower for 30 minutes, hyping yourself up to get into the freezing cold. And then comes the second problem. People sometimes don't start to enjoy it. They don't look forward to the morning where they can get up and get into a freezing cold shower. Some people do not look forward to that. And that's the problem because cold showers are supposed to be something that you really look forward to since the benefits are so amazing. But some people don't. Some people don't enjoy that hyping up period to get in. So they end up quitting. You end up giving in, having that hot shower. Eh, what's the big deal? So you don't stay consistent. So what's the solution? I actually do have cold showers still. However, I don't have them like anyone else, which is why I technically don't have cold showers anymore. I don't start my shower cold. I start it lukewarm. I then wash everything I need to, need to do so I'm actually getting clean. And then I will turn it to cold and then freezing cold. So I am still reaping all the benefits from a freezing cold shower. All those benefits. I feel energetic, motivated, huge sources of dopamine, testosterone. I feel amazing after a cold shower. And I look forward to it. I don't have that hyping up period in the morning. I can get in any lukewarm shower and actually wash everything I need within super, super quickly, within like two minutes. And then I just slowly turn it to a freezing cold shower. So I still get all the benefits. And for someone who's just starting out and doesn't have a lot of time and wants to stay consistent, this is an amazing thing to do. This is by far one of the best things you can do 
to stay consistent because you will end up enjoying the showers. You will end up waking up in the morning and thinking, yes, I am excited. <laughs> you will end up really looking forward to it and actually staying consistent, which may be your biggest problem. Look, don't get me wrong, okay? We should all aim to be having ice baths, you know, the cold plunge, just turning on a freezing cold shower and just jumping right in because to be honest, the testosterone and the dopamine that you get from this is, it is really fucking high. It is really good. Like you do feel amazing. You still feel amazing when you're doing my technique, the gradually turn it to a freezing cold shower. You still get loads of the benefits, but we should all aim to be taking the cold plunge. However, for someone who is just starting out, this is an amazing start. It's a very, very good step in the right direction. It's a huge step in the right direction. And it's very, very easy to stay consistent like this. You will get to that stage, you know, where you're taking ice baths every single day. You'll get there eventually, but this is a good start, especially for someone who doesn't have a lot of time and just wants to stay consistent. Hopefully this helped you out. And I hope things were good. I genuinely hope things have been all right. Hopefully this video helped you out and I would be really appreciated if you clicked on one in the corner because maybe this one can help you out too. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Hey, I don't know what to say. I self-improve because